He enjoyed life, he really did. He loved to have fun. The memories are still fresh for Ann Mulkey. We have a lot of pictures of him with the kids. Memories of her son's short life on Earth. Captain Lewis Mulkey of Engine 15 was just 34 years old when he died, doing what he loved. I talked to him before he was called to the fire. And uh, I said, well, you're gonna come home in the morning or are you going to school? And he said, nope, I'm coming home. I'll see you in the morning. And um, that was his last words to me. When Lewis Mulkey died in the Sofa Superstore fire, Engine 15 lost a leader, but so did Somerville High School. Loved every minute of being here and coaching them. And he would not go back to college because he was torn. He couldn't leave his job at the fire department. He couldn't do that. And he didn't want to give up coaching. It's been a while since some of us won a playoff game, and it just means a lot to our seniors. Mulkey was an athlete himself at Somerville High School, graduating in 1991. He returned to his alma mater in 2002 as an assistant coach in basketball and football. He was on the bench in March 2007 when the Green Wave lost in the state championship. He told them, he said, this is not your year. It's okay, because next year's going to be your year. And it was. The coach was right, but he wouldn't be there to see it. When Somerville played for the title again in 2008, he wasn't in the building, but Lewis Mulkey's spirit was everywhere. Lewis Mulkey! Well, they all had the black hats on that night. With students in fire helmets chanting his name and a symbol of Mulkey's courage sitting on the team bench, the players fulfilled their coach's promise and won the state title. Now, 10 years later, the kids say they still talk about him. They love yeah, it. Coach Mulkey, that's who that is. So many have so many memories and stories that we have not even heard yet. In 2013, Lewis Mulkey was inducted into the Somerville High School Athletic Hall of Fame. And they still bring the fire helmet out for home basketball games on the court now known as the Firehouse. We walked in, and that was it. The tears just came. It was beautiful. In December of last year, the school rededicated the gym in honor of the captain and the coach.